I finally ran out of ideas. I'm going to talk about an apple. Wait a second. I'm going to talk about really, really tiny fruit today. I've got very, uh, three varieties of tiny fruit. I've got this one, which is a, um, it's actually a crab apple. A different variety of crab apple. I've got a seckle pear, which is the world's smallest pear, and I have a uh, lady apple, which is not the smallest apple, but it's close. The uh, the smallest apple is called a uh, tiddly palm, but this is a uh, lady apple, not a crab apple, but still quite small. So we're going to talk about cute fruits today. See what these guys taste like compared to a. Uh, a full-size pear or apple. I want to talk about the um, the seckle pear first. This is uh, thought to be the only pear that originates in America. It's like it's naturally from here. Everything else, all the pears that we normally eat, come from Europe. Uh, it's debatable whether or not that's true. This might be from uh, from Europe as well, but a lot of people think that it's actually from here originally. Um, it's also so small that usually, you know, people don't eat it just normally. They, like, uh, will, like, roast it to get a little more flavor out of it. Um, yeah, it's like, the thing with these mini fruits, why people don't normally see them is they're just kind of inconvenient. You only have a small amount of fruit, but you still have all the seeds and stems and stuff to dig around with. So, um, that's why you probably don't see these too often. But uh, let's see how it holds up compared to a um, to a regular pear taste-wise. Hmm, it's very soft. I thought this would probably be hard. Um, it's because I I mean like if we have like a, a small pear, it might be like underripe. But this is um, actually very soft. And tasty. It tastes like a pear, but a very flavorful pear for its size. Um, generally, like if you buy fruit that is fully ripe, that's smaller size, it's usually more um, more flavorful. Uh, and this is certainly the case with this one. It's it packs quite a little bit of punch. Sorry about all the meowing. My cat. Um, is apparently jealous that I'm talking about all this cute fruit, so she's meowing like a lot. Yeah, yeah, you want attention. There you go. Smile for the camera. See, now she shuts up. She's just like, pay attention to me! Ugh. Anyway, um, where was I? I? I was talking about the seckle pear. It's, um... Can I say it's good? It's very sweet, it's got a little bit of tartness to it. It kind of has like um, a slightly apple kind of taste to it, kind of like a like, like a green apple, just like a little, little extra tartness. I mean, the pear flavor is there, but it also has kind of like a little extra apple-y kind of flavor to it. Um, good, very good. Next, I'm going to talk about the lady apple, not to be confused with the pink lady apple, which is actually... Um, uh, a full-size apple. This is fully ripe right here, um, like this, as big as it gets. It is not a crab apple though, it is a regular um, regular type of apple. And uh, people roast them a lot because they're, it brings up the flavor a little bit more, but let's see how it stacks up. It's kind of green on the outside, but they all were like that, so I'm assuming that Either this is what it's supposed to look like, or the whole batch were underripe, so hopefully it's okay. Um, it tastes like it might be underripe, or maybe that's what it's supposed to taste like. I don't know. Um, it tastes kind of like a green apple. Like a, um, like a Granny Smith kind of apple. But maybe not as tart, actually. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's more, it's got like a slight green taste to it. It's not that sweet. Um, it's like a little more tart than your typical apple. I'm gonna now do the crab apple. 
when I was little, my grandmother had a crab apple tree in her backyard, and I always wanted to eat the apples, but she told me not to eat them because they were poisonous. Um, and I looked online to make sure that they were, to see if they, they were poisonous or not, but they're, they're not. They're, they aren't poisonous, but I did see other people asking the same question. I heard they were poisonous. I guess that there is a misconception or a myth out there that um, crab apples are poisonous, but they, they're they edible. I don't know if they're going to taste very good, but they are indeed edible. These are popular in some areas of Southeast Asia. They're eaten kind of like the way um, the Amborella fruit is, which I talked about in an earlier episode. They will take the, uh, the crab apple and cut it up and put salt and chili powder and like uh, rojac sauce on it or, or fish sauce on it to add like flavor to it. It's more for the um, it's more eaten for the sourness and the texture of it rather than you know out of hand just as a regular fruit, um, which I guess is a good way to do it. It can also be like canned and and it can be added to apple dishes like you put it in like apple cider or apple pie to add like an extra kind of element to it but on its own, uh, not usually eaten raw. So, I'm gonna find out why that is. Well, it's not bad. I mean, I'm not spitting it out, but it's not good. It's very mealy. It might just be this variety of crab apple, but it's very, very mealy. And the, so the texture is kind of gross. Let's see about flavor. Yeah. It's got, like... The texture is really throwing me off. It's like sand, but the um, it's bitter. It's got like a bitter taste to it. Not like awful bitter, but it's like kind of like in the back of your mouth, kind of bitter. Um, there is like a little sweetness to it, and it's like a little bit of like a chemical kind of taste to it. Um, I bought this at a pretty upscale market, so I'm assuming that's not like insecticide. That's just like how it tastes. Um, kind of like a soapy sort of taste. Kind of like pasty and gritty and yeah. I can understand why this might be used in like a juice or like a pie when it's with other apples because then it, it won't have that nasty texture and maybe that flavor can add something to it. But as it is, eh, it's not so great on its own. I, I talked about how the um, crab apples in Southeast Asia are sometimes used the way amborella fruit is by putting um, salt and chili powder and things like that on it. So I did just that. I've got some um, I've got some crab apple with salt and chili on it. So let's see if it adds anything to the flavor, makes it taste any better. Um, it's not going to do anything for the texture, but let's see here. Hmm. Um, well, it's an improvement. I think I know what I'm going to do with the rest that I bought. When you add the chili and the salt to it, it, it brings out, like, it brings out the good part of the fruit, I guess, and it makes it, like, a little more, um, more exciting to eat. Yeah, that's, that's it. Just a little extra bit of information for you. If you got a bunch of crab apples and you don't know what to do with them, um, put some salt and chili on them. So, um, yeah, <laughs> in summation here, Seckle Pears, adorable and delicious in every way. Um, lady Apples, if this is underripe, that would make sense. If not, uh, they don't taste good. But if you see one that's, like, more yellow, I would try that. It might be, it might be worth trying. But compared to other apples, not so great. And Crab Apples, don't eat them. That... 
just just don't. They're not they're not good. Uh, maybe some other varieties are good. I don't know, but people don't eat these for a reason, and I think I found out why. They're mealy and they don't taste good. That's it for these cute fruits. I'll see if I can find any other cute fruits out there and maybe make a cute fruits video too eventually. But for now, uh, that's all I was able to see. Thanks a lot for watching.